Hey guys, it's Alice and today I'm going to be transforming into an e-girl, a proper e-girl. And um, to start off, I'm going to have to change into something I could get hair color on because we're going all in. We're going to be recoloring. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but it's pretty bad in real life. And then we're going to be lightening my brows. Wish me luck. I've done this a couple times in my life, but I shaved it last time. So yeah, I'm excited about it and I'm going to take you along the journey. Ah! So a couple things you're going to need are coconut oil to protect your hairline. You can also use Vaseline. I actually recommend Vaseline because this stuff will melt with the heat of your skin. A hair color and a light enough hair for the hair color to take. I'm using Atomic Turquoise. It fades to this turquoise. It's pretty bright right off the bat, but I'm also going to be diluting it with white conditioner. This is optional. I like stretching it. A lot of people say it dilutes it because that's what it's supposed to do. But takes away the pigment in some areas which if you take care of your hair the longevity of it really depends on you but you know glues and um sectioning clips only have one i think my sister eats them um <laughs> because i normally have like 20 but i have one so i'm just gonna be tucking the hair back that i've already done you're gonna need gloves i got these from sally's i got a hundred count for ten dollars they're cheap. Invest in gloves if the color is darker than a pastel. But yeah, I guess we'll go. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this off camera and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so as you can see, I look like a drowned rat and I'm greasy like a McDonald's cheeseburger. So you're going to open up your manic panic and you're going to stab it, you know, just with your rat tail comb if you have one. If not, just find a knife or something, but be careful. Use parent supervision. Try not to fling it on your hair. You're gonna open it and then just in your mixing bowl. You're gonna, uh, you know, just like it's, it's having a BM. You're going to try to get all of the hair color out of there. Wipe your hands on the towel so your runners don't sue you when you leave. And pump in as much conditioner as you need. <laughs> and the hair color is mixed up. Now you're going to want to take your sections. A lot of people part it in fours. I just go however is easiest for me, honestly. My hair is greasy too, don't mind that. And my roots are coming in, so that's fun. <laughs> I always concentrate more hair color at my root so I don't have a bad time because when it fades it looks good. I even had like a Sally's employee tell me my hair looked good and I was like thanks it's really bad right now. It's got green tones in it because I had more of a yellow base hair underneath because I went from pink to this so it is what it is. <laughs> Look at all this regrowth. That's like an inch and a half of regrowth. 
right there. I'm gonna be bleaching my eyebrows today and you guys are gonna see that, so mix up for it. So now I have all the front part that I can see done and I'm going to do the back off camera because you guys will probably be bothered by how I do it if you weren't already bothered by this mess. Alrighty, so I put a processing cap on, put one on, don't put one on, I don't care. I'm going to take toilet paper and just clean up my hairline a little bit. The longer it'll stay, the harder it'll be to get off. And obviously there's still a little bit of staining without that barrier, but once you get into the shower and scrub it, it will come off. The part you have to be careful about if you are doing this at home is your eyebrows. Now, if you're lightening your eyebrows, what I do, I use Clairol Basic White and then this Long Care 10 volume. Really, I wouldn't go higher than that on your eyebrows. I would say about that much powder. You see how it's just like barely any. Take your 10 roll and I would mix a maybe one to one ratio, maybe one to half, 0.5. So let's try that, it's more like a 0.5. Kind of want it thicker because it's on your brows, your brows are coarser. Now is the time if you have a spoolie, comb them upward. I'm going to be using my fingers. And it's fully mixed. Looks like that. Just a little, like toothpaste almost. I'm going to pay it on with a paintbrush. Now this is directly on the scalp or the skin of your eyebrow, so it will burn. And the main thing with this is just to evenly saturate. I have very thin eyebrows, so even pushing it up doesn't really do much. These, if they don't lighten with the 10 volume and you put something over it, I would apply heat to it, but I'm not putting anything over it. And you really don't want this any more runny. See, even this is a little bit more runny than what I normally do for eyebrows. You don't want this running at all because you're like literally right above your eye. All right, so I've gone back and put some more on it as necessary. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off. I combed a lot of it back upward, but I'm taking a dry paper towel at first and just pushing it upward. You never want to push it downward because you'd rather it get in your hair than in your eye. And don't worry, I didn't fry off my end of my tail. I just barely have an end of my tail. So these are kind of orangish. It should be fine for what we're going for. But if you're doing more of a pastel brow, which I'm not, then you're gonna wanna go a little bit lighter than this. This is only 15 minutes with a 10 volume. If you wanted to do a 20 volume, try like five to 10 minutes, see how it is, you know, just check it and all that um but this this is fine now with a different tissue that does not have bleach on it i'm going to slightly wet this you do not want this to be overly wet because you can still have product you see it's still white right there you can still have product on your face and that's not good you don't want that running in your eye and again go upward this reveals more of that orangey tone color which again is fine for what i'm doing but might not be fine for what you're doing. And this camera, I have a white light, so it's picking up more on the actual undertones of things. And then before you color your eyebrow, you're gonna wanna make sure it's dry. My eyebrows are really thin, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm taking another paintbrush, and then just dipping back into that original hair color I have set to the side and painting this on. They're gonna be turquoise-ish because again, it is yellow. But it'll make covering them so much easier. You're also gonna have, if you don't do it neatly, you're gonna have all these staining. For me, that's fine. I know I can use toner and clean that up later. So I don't care if there's a weird blob on my face. Let this set for like maybe three, two hours, something like that. I'm gonna go through edit footage see what I want. Um, it's probably already been in for an hour, so it might only be one more hour and then leave this in a little bit longer because, you know, this has been setting for an hour, so. 
Alrighty, so this is the finished product. Sorry that the lighting's bad. I took out everything in here after we cleaned up. Uh, it's a couple days later, but I haven't washed it yet. I've only put dry shampoo in it. So this is the uh, finished product. My eyebrows are greenish, kind of. I'm going to redo them later. But uh, it's still easier to cover with makeup than it was with the browns. So yeah, it was a success. If you guys like this, please follow me. This is a new channel. I deleted my old one. And yeah, um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.